Governor John Kasich, he's here with us in Manchester right now. So you won the vote in Dixville Notch, two to one, Perhaps. nine voters total. Hey, you know, we came out strong. Is it true you called every single voter in that town? I did. And he did pretty did. well, two to one. I did. It was great. A, a lot of the polls showing you've got some momentum uh, in these final days, drawing the attention of Governor Jeb Bush, putting out a web video ad right now. He calls it no comparison. He's hitting your record as governor for expanding <clears throat> Medicare, supporting Obamacare, supporting an assault weapons ban, budget issues. How do you respond? I don't respond to that. I think, uh, unfortunately, I hate to say it, but Jeb's taken the very low road to the highest office in the land and George I've been positive we've had you know 106 town hall meetings people come they laugh they cry they talk about the things that matter to them uh, we've been positive our ground game Gordon Humphrey the former senator says it's the best ground game he's seen in 40 years I mean our people last night we we were out there in a driving snowstorm probably three four hundred people standing out there cheering it was like a movie set I mean I wish I could have take it and just I could make a movie out of this George you, <laughs> you could, seem excited you, you could come be in the second. star you could play me <laughs> happy to do it where are you gonna finish we're going to finish very strong. I, I'm not like Muhammad Ali. I can't predict, you know, exactly what round or whatever. But we're going to, well, look, I sent my bus, uh, the magic bus, down to South Carolina last well, that, night. We're my, heading there. That's my question. Even if you do very well here, your opponents say, your rivals say, you're out of money. You're not organized in other states. Where do you find a way? I love when my rivals say Hampshire. stuff like that, George. You know, as you know, people have counted me out all of my career. And he said I wouldn't get in the race. I couldn't raise the money. I couldn't get to New Hampshire. I wouldn't make the debate stage. I hope they keep underestimating me because there was another guy they underestimated all the time. His name was Reagan. So, you know, look, our message is bring people together, grow the economy, leave no one behind. We're Americans before we're Republicans and Democrats. And you know what? People really respond to that. You're, get, you're getting some attention from Democrats. A lot of independents here in New Hampshire can vote in either primary. And I want to go to John Carl. He's at Mary Ann's restaurant in Derry, New Hampshire. And he's got a couple that are actually choosing between you and Hillary Clinton. John? Hey, George, it's incredible with the folks here at Marianne's, how many people still now who are planning to vote after breakfast are not quite sure who they're going to vote for. Right here, Fred Daniels from Nashua. And as George just said, you are actually trying to decide between John Kasich and Hillary Clinton. But what's your question? Do you have a chance now? Governor Kasich, what do you want to know? Governor Kasich, um, I really appreciate you talking to us right now, and I have had a chance to actually see you live. The question I have for you and all the candidates is, how are you going to get Congress to f listen to you and to understand what you want to accomplish? It's so divisive. Uh, it's so dysfunctional. How are you going to get these people together to make your things happen? <clears throat> You know, I've done it all of my career. In fact, you know, as chairman of the budget committee, I actually work with people like George Stephanopoulos to, uh, to get the budget balanced because we brought people together and we started putting the country first and didn't want to worry about the ideology so much or the party. I mean, it was a conservative program that got us to balance. Uh, we did it by working together, and I've done it in Ohio. You know what you do? You just, uh, you're fair with people. You don't have to cave in on your principles. And, sir, if there's anything that I can do, it's the ability to get people to work together and realize that our legacy will be determined by what we achieve, not the political positions that we take. So I'm very comfortable with that. And I've always said, sir, that one of the things I'll do is get the birthdays of all the mothers and fathers of the members of Congress and call them on their birthdays so they'll call their sons and daughters and say, don't mess with the president. He's really a good guy. <laughs> Governor Casey. We want your vote, sir. Please. Thanks very much okay. for coming in this morning. Good luck today. Thanks, George.